So, yeah, we're here in our small cabin um, in, in Longville, Minnesota, and we are we're preparing to uh, run some wire. Uh, we're just going to do a basic wiring thing with uh, essentially outlets, a couple of overhead lights, a couple of switches. First thing we need to do is that this is where our, uh, our service panel is going to come in right here from outside. Um, and so what we're going to look to do is to drill our holes right here. We're using a three-quarter inch drill. Um, we're going to go through the studs right in the middle. We're two by four framing, so we're going to go right through the studs and get those holes drilled first. Um, and then we'll come back and, and kind of talk to you about how we're going to run the wire. All right, more later. Hey, so uh, we've got uh, our holes drilled for this side. Like you said, our service is going to come in. We're, we're, we're actually wiring this to, to run off of a generator. Um, so essentially we're thinking about this as, as just a big giant extension cord. Um, so we're going to have a plug on the outside that's going to receive our 30 amp. Um, and then that's going to go to the generator. And then from there, we're, we're going to have, we're going to have electricity that comes in through a, a breaker box. So what we've done is we've, we've drilled our holes for this side. This is going to initially be our, our kitchen. Um, so what we're going to be, we set some boxes up higher. These will be our, uh, ground fault outlets and then from here so uh, yeah. I lost my train of thought because Josh kicked my uh, coffee over uh, but so what we're doing now is we're just gonna do we're gonna do this on three circuits we're gonna do uh, this side of the room on one we're gonna do that side of the room on the other and then we're gonna do some overhead lights um, on the third circuit so what we've done is we've drilled holes um, through the studs and marked where we want our boxes this is what our, the boxes that we're going to use look like We'll be putting car siding on, so what we need to do is to hold this box out the width of the, of the car siding. So we're going to have to measure three quarters of an inch and set the box out so that when the car siding goes on, um, the face plates look like they're um, flush with the car siding. So uh, we're going to, these boxes, quite simply, they just, they just come on, you mark them where you want them, and then, and then you pound the nails in. Um, so I'm going to need to hold this out three quarter, pound them in, and you know we'll show you what that looks like once we once we uh, get some of these marked. All right, thanks. Okay, so so what I'm doing here is I'm measuring out the three quarter, which is the the, the width of the uh, the car siding. And I'm holding the box out that much, and then I'm going to pound the nails in. Good. That's really all there is to it. The wire is going to come in through the back right here and we'll punch these holes out. And the wire will pull right through the box and there we'll be able to connect it to the outlet. So, so that's what's coming next. So we've got three outlets in over here and we're just going to kind of show you how we're doing this run on this circuit. Um, so we've got the wire pulled, okay, and we're gonna come in to right here. We've, we've left extra. You're gonna wanna show this. So, so what I'm gonna do is now I have this loop and I'm simply going to cut it here, okay? And this is the part that will go into the box. So we just take our wire cutter and cut that. And then we bring one of the wires in the back of the box where we punch. These are just tabs in the back that you punch out that allow you to bring the wire in. Okay, so there's our wire coming in, and this is the one that's coming from our power source, which will be the generator. So now we have these two wires in, okay, and we have plenty of extra. So, the next stage is to take the Romax and to simply slice it with a utility knife. And in doing that, it's going to expose the three wires that are inside. You have your neutral white. Okay, we have our ground wire, which is either which is either bare or green. In this situation, ours is bare. And then this is our hot um, black wire. So what we need to do is to get these open. Do the same to the other side. You just want to be careful that you don't cut through the wire, uh, the coating of the black or the white. It could be a problem for you down the line. Just cut that back. Okay, now we'll get ready to pigtail. 
So, so what we've done after we brought the wires in each side is that we have um, stripped them down. Um, we're going to pigtail these, meaning we're going to put these two ground wires together along with another short piece that I've cut. It's called a pigtail, and that's what's going to go to the receptacle or the outlet. So um, somehow we have to figure out, you put these three together, grab up pliers. And you just, you kind of wind them together, really. You twist them. So you grab them and just, and, and it's going to twist up the line a little bit sometimes. And that's okay. Uh, we just want to make sure that they get connected together. So it's, and make no mistake, I am no electrician. Um, this is just our own cabin we're doing. You're not, I'm not a professional in any way, shape, or form. Fact. That wire keeps falling, which is making me somewhat annoyed. So, there we go. So, we simply get that twisted in there. It takes a little bit of time. We're using 12 gauge wire, which is pretty thick. And then, what you do is you come back and you cut this back because we want to put a wire nut on it and you want to make sure that it's kind of got a clean connection. So you can see how they're all tied together now. And I take this red wire nut, put it on there. It's got threads inside of it that grab the wire. And you simply put that on and just start turning. And you'll feel it grab. And you turn until it's pretty tough to turn. That's about it. And then this is our pigtail right here, which will go to the receptacle. And then you repeat that process for the, the, the neutrals to neutrals and for the black to black. And once we've done that, I'll, I'll, I'll come back and show you what we do next. So, so we're back um, after um, we've pigtailed them all now. And you can see we've taken our, our neutrals and our neutrals. And then we added in this third one, which was our pigtail, which is going to go to, to the uh, outlet. Um, so really we've created um, just singles that are going to attach to there. We also put some electrical tape around these. Um, I still need to do that on this one. Um, not that there's going to be a real issue, but it's just another layer of, of safety if there is a slip or if there is, you know, something gets knocked loose in there, we, we have another layer of insulation. So I am going to do that. I don't know if that's code or not, but it's code out here for me. Um, so then we have our outlet, and on our outlet we have we have uh, a green key, um, nut screw, which is going to be our ground, and then we have uh, these silvers, which are our neutrals, um, and we'll, we'll use the bottom one. Um, that's just what I've been using, and then this side, the brass ones, the brass screws are your hot, your blacks. Um, so uh, one thing that that I have, somebody did tell me that if you know the one that you're not using. Um, you want to make sure you screw in so that you don't have any contact or shorting, shorting anything out. But one of the things you do need to remember with this is that when we're working with 12 gauge wire, um, I got these two are going to be on the same side. I got my, my, my white and my, and my uh, green. And I'm going to ultimately be screwing the screw this way. So what I want to be doing when I'm screwing the screw is tightening the wire into, into what I'm doing. So that's why I take this with my needle nose and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to roll it up this way so that when I do clip this on and I grab my uh, screwdriver another thing to do is when you get this on here you can kind of grab I'm going to make this just a little longer tough stuff in that uh, and I can do it with the white here too this is also going to roll up this one so that when I do put this on here if I reach in here at the top of the wire and the bottom I can kind of crimp it around there and that that really makes it makes it a much better connection so that when I take my screwdriver and I'm tightening this there is no chance that I'm, I'm, I'm going to be working the wire down into there even more so than if I went the other way 
I would be loosing in it. So I'm gonna, this one we're not using, so I'm gonna tighten that up. And then I have my, so now my neutral is connected. And then I will need to get my ground wire in there, which is giving me a little bit of trouble here. There, I think that'll go. And I wanna kinda get that tab down in there if I can. There, crimp that down in there. And now we got to come over. Now the other one, these I'd crimped up, but the black side, I have to crimp down. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to loop it down. And I need it a little bit wider. Come into my brass side. That's why you can always remember black and white is that the black will always be on the brass colored screws and the neutral will always be on um, the silver. Take this, screw this down, nice and tight. Get this nice and tight. And there, last thing you have to do is you want to check, make sure. I like to do this. This is what I have been doing just to protect if I'm going to take a layer of um, electrical tape and just put a round. If anybody's ever working on this later, and they come in and they, you know, they grab it over here, they could they could really get nailed. So we're gonna protect them with just a layer of electrical tape, and then we simply take this, push our wire nuts back in there. And it takes a little doing with this with this 12 gauge because it's a little thicker, but it certainly isn't too bad. And then line up the top screw into the box. You do the same to your bottom screw. And once you've screwed these in where you want them, Continue down the line to your last, you know, continue pigtailing back to your beginning of your circuit. I'm working backwards in this situation um, until you get uh, to your breaker box. Um, and assuming everything is tight and everything is connected correctly, when you turn power onto that breaker box, you should have power.